truce train pulling out. <clears throat> oh, today's the big day. You ready? Hold your breath. Oh, big hold your breath. It's the big day where the IG, the investigator general, Michael Horowitz, is going to release the big information on Hillary Clinton's probe. The Hillary Clinton probe, how the FBI, James Comey and McCabe and Lynch and Starrock, Stro, Stro, Strozak, how they handled the Hillary Clinton probe. And the big question, did the Justice Department under Obama and Lynch and the FBI under the Justice Department give Hillary Clinton special treatment for political reasons? <laughs> of course they did! But we're going to get another report today, right? Big fart in the wind, right? For a year, right? And now the, the inspector general, see how they play the, the pass the buck game? Not the attorney general, that's Jeff Sessions, the appointed big boss. But they switch it out. They call it the, it's the inspector general. It's one below. And he's been, apparently he's been investigating for, for a year. Oh, choo 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 the truth. The truth. It's a fart in the wind, right? So it's Thursday. Uh, w W N D, whatever that news outlet is. <laughs> the, the article's down below. You can read it yourself. And apparently Horowitz, Michael Horowitz, Trump is tweeting out that the uh, investigator, investigator, better not water down the report. Better, better give all the details. Well, that's already a sign that Trump has no control over the thing. Trump has has no say in the matter. He's been eliminated, eliminated from the from the equation. I'm sorry if there's wind. I, I feel it. So, did Hillary Clinton mishandle classified information? Of course she did. Anybody else, certainly myself, or anybody watching this channel, <laughs> you, we, they would have put us in a box and made the box disappear if you did what Hillary Clinton did, which was take her position as Secretary of State and circumvent all of the uh, information routes and, and email routes, uh, the official ones, and, and put the server in her basement in Chappaqua, New York, and run all her communications on a separate server, circumventing regulations, right? Highly illegal. Anybody, those are, every time it happens, when classified information passes back and forth, she did it to the tune of, you know, 20 different highly classified bits of information. But the whole process itself of circumventing, circumventing, this is, uh, this is such old news, and they're still talking about it a year later, because they're trying to make it go away. The statute of limitations is going to pass. Right? But what, what she did was obscene, and then when you look at why they were doing it, then you, then it opens up the, the, it opens up the, the, the door to the Clinton Foundation where everything that they were selling this classified information for favors. It was quid pro quo. If you put money in the Clinton Foundation, the Secretary of State would then reach into her pocket and give you a favor. Right? Highly illegal. It's all connected. That's why the server was in her basement. Is it, was it for political reasons? Yes, of course. Did the FBI do it for political reasons? Of course they did. They thought Hillary Clinton was, because Obama and Lynch were supporting her, that she would have been, they were rigging the thing in a way that she would have been the next president. We saw the evidence. They already rigged it against Bernie Sanders. And now it's just, they were just going to get, you know, however Trump won, he he exceeded the margin of cheating so greatly that, that uh, he won. But um, was it for political reasons? Of course. Andrew McCabe is known to have taken $700,000 from the Clinton Foundation, a donation for his wife's failed <coughs> campaign, political campaign. <clears throat> so there's so much dirt on, on Hillary Clinton. When you look at the foundation, you realize it's, a, it's not a – look at Charles Ortel's work. It's not, it's not even a real foundation. It's not a, it's not a – uh, a foundation that helps people. It's a money laundering scheme, and how they cheated throughout the. Uh, so all of it, all the what the FBI did was they they sat on their hands, 
they they did a, a fake investigation at Hillary Clinton, and um, and now a year later, Michael Hor. Today we're supposed to hold our breath for the big news. We'll see. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist and candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.